I've got the Google Pixel 6 smartphone right here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock the bootloader for both the Pixel 6 smartphone as well as the Pixel 6 Pro smartphone. Now, before we begin, we're gonna to need to have some things set up ahead of time. For example, you're gonna to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. We need that because we need to issue a Fastboot command in order to initiate the bootloader unlock. And I've already done a tutorial showing you how to install ADB and Fastboot tools. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, be sure to check the video description down below as I'll have a link directly to that tutorial. So with that done, we're gonna to need to enable developer mode. Now again, if you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, I've previously done a tutorial on it and I'll have that linked in the video description as well. So once we have enabled developer mode, we're gonna go into the developer options menu and you should see a toggle here labeled OEM unlocking. Now we need to enable this, confirm that we own this device by entering our pin pattern or password, and then confirm that we do want to allow OEM unlocking by tapping the enable button. This needs to be enabled before we can issue that fastboot command. So again, be sure that you enable this toggle before you continue with this tutorial. So now that this toggle has been enabled, we can go ahead and boot over into fastboot mode. We do this by holding the volume down button while the phone boots up. And this is where we will connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable and then open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell or a terminal one of those three needs to be opened up in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So where, at whatever folder you install those files in, go into that folder and open up a Windows PowerShell within that folder. So here we have our command prompt up. We have the Pixel 6 connected to the PC with a USB cable. And if you want to confirm that our com connection has been established, we tap out the command fastboot space devices. And you want to make sure that you have a device listed in this response. Now, if this is blank, it likely means that you have not installed the proper USB drivers. And you're going to want to do that before trying this fastboot devices command again. Either that or it's possible that your device is not in fastboot mode. Again, we're just using this fastboot space devices command to make sure that we have an established connection. Once we have established that connection, we're gonna type out the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. So again, that command is fastboot space flashing space unlock. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. And we should get an OK message right here. Assuming everything has been done correctly after we get that OK message in the command prompt, you should see the screen change on your Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro kind of still looks like fastboot mode, but the text is different and we have different commands here. So the default option here is to do not unlock the bootloader, but we can press the volume up or volume down buttons to change this option. So we're going to highlight or make sure this top option says unlock the bootloader. And if you have not yet read this warning message, be sure to read this so you know what you are doing to your phone. 
But when you are ready to unlock the bootloader, again, we have the unlock the bootloader option selected here. And we're going to press the power button to select that option. You can see the phone kind of looked like it restarted. The screen went black and it booted us right back into the fast boot mode screen that we were at. Now, if you were looking before, we have a device state option right here that last time said locked. Now that we have unlocked the bootloader, it is changed over to unlocked. With that done, we're just going to make sure the option here that is highlighted is start. And if you have something else here, again, we can use the volume buttons to change the highlighted option. We're just going to make sure start is selected and then press the power button to select that option. You can see the screen went black again. That was the phone rebooting and it's going to boot us right back into the Android operating system. We have just unlocked the bootloader, which means that the device has been reset. All of the data has been wiped and we're going to need to activate Android like we normally do. I'm just going to skip through most of this so we can get to the operating system quicker. And you can see we have now booted back into Android. The operating system has been reset. All of the apps, photos, everything that I had on the phone is now completely gone. However, when we enable developer mode, go back into developer options, you should see that OEM unlocking option is grayed out. And you're gonna see the text down there saying that the bootloader is already unlocked. If you see this in the developer options, then you have successfully unlocked the bootloader for the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro.